today's Gibbs Cam Tech Tip, you will learn how to create fourth axis cylindrical toolpaths starting from solid models. If you have a solid model available to start from, this will save you a lot of time and effort. First, you will need to open the solid model in Gibbs Cam. Once the part is open, you will need to position the part properly in order to machine it using your rotary axis. On a vertical machining center, this would typically be along the X axis. We will turn on the profiler and slice spun body mode to extract geometry and to work group two. After turning the profiler back off, we will select that geometry to create a revolve solid. Then we will right mouse click on the new solid and change the body type to stock before placing it in the body bag. Now we will switch to work group three and select the outer faces of the solid to extract geometry for machining the chamfers. Once extracted, you will notice it is magenta in color, indicating it belongs to a different Corbett system. We will reselect this geometry and with the XY plane active, use Modify Change CS XYZ to make it belong to the XY plane. If we click away from this geometry to unselect it, you will notice it is now blue and yellow, indicating that it does belong to this coordinate system. Now we will reselect the geometry and use Modify Unwrap to flatten this geometry, accepting the default wrap radius that Gibbs Cam determined. Using coordinate system two, which was automatically created earlier by Gibbs Cam, we will now use the cylindrical profiler. Setting the depth to the bottom of the chamfer, to extract geometry and to work group four for machining the slots. After extracting geometry and switching back to the XY coordinate system, you will again notice that the geometry is magenta. So we will again select the geometry and use modify change CS XYZ to assign it to the XY coordinate system. Then we will use Modify Unwrap, accepting the new default wrap radius to flatten this geometry. Using previously defined tools, we will create a contour process for machining the slots with a 3 16th end mill. It is important that the surface Z is set to the outside radius, not the diameter of the part. The entry and exit clearance values must be slightly larger values for adequate clearance. By turning depth first off, we can reduce the number of operations in the operations list. Since we will we'll be selecting multiple profiles for machining on the offset page, we must set it to offset, not centerline, or cut outside for the closed shapes we are selecting. On the rotate page, we also need to turn on polar and cylindrical milling so that the toolpath will be wrapped around the part. Then we will replace the tool with a 3 8 chamfering tool and switch to work group three to create another contour process for machining all of the chamfers. As a finishing touch, we will right mouse click on work group three and work group four, and under work group info, check on the wrapped option so that when we click on the wrap work groups icon, the geometry will appear wrapped. Although mathematically, it is still defined as flat. Thanks for watching this Gibbs Cam Tech Tip. If you have any questions, please contact your Gibbs Cam reseller.